Today, we're going to do a bit of maintenance to stop all the naughty little animals. These guys have been sneaking through the fence into the Cayuga Ducks paddock, and the Cayugas sneak through into the garden and snack on all the cherry tomatoes and spinach. Hmm. You're not supposed to be able to do that. You're naughty. So, today I'm going to mend the fence. It's like they know if they act super cute, we will get way too distracted to stop them from sneaking out. I'm going to add one long piece of wire along the bottom and twist it to each piece of copper to make it tight. Uh oh. We made this fence out of old copper pipe from a hot water system that was way too beautiful to throw out. We always try to use secondhand materials, never buying anything new. We truly believe in the importance of only using what we already have. This circular philosophy means that we have so many collections of old junk that always come in handy one day. And that every task takes so much longer because all of our materials are silly and difficult, usually wonky and broken but also is so much more beautiful. I think we learnt this from our parents, who learnt to build by collecting old discarded materials from all the old buildings around Byron Bay. They morphed them into the most beautiful houses. We would always laugh at our dad when he took so long to build anything, spending so much time fiddling around with silly old materials. He had the grandest collection of old, very broken bikes. We realise now that this understanding of resources was so ahead of his time and he already practised zero waste living long before our generation began to understand the climate crisis. So we are trying to follow his philosophy now in his footsteps. Yes! Now I'm going to staple on some mesh to the gate.
success. In the morning, we let the goats out of their night pen. It was our old childhood cubby house. And we recently renovated it into the perfect multi-story goat pen. We filled in with the walls with old shutters and fence panels. And this is where they sleep each night, safe from any predators. Sometimes they go and play upstairs for a bit. Because there has been less grass lately, the goats have started to get very naughty. They jump fences and gates to get into the garden and then eat all of our veggies. The latest victim was the tomato bushes, where they ate every single tomato and the whole plant itself. Sometimes when they are in an especially naughty mood, they sneak back into a different garden and take a massive bite of broccoli on their way home. The routine of getting them back into their paddock is so long and it happens so many times per day. So today we're going to make two new gates that will hopefully be too high to jump, too sturdy to push open and easier to navigate through when you are returning goat escapees. A friend gave us this stack of old fence palings that they were going to burn. Some are a bit rotten, but most are quite good. Mum is a fence expert, so today she is teaching us all the tricks. Now we're going to denail each of the boards. She cut the pieces for the frame in the workshop earlier, so now we have to just screw it together and add palings to the structure. There used to be a fence between this paddock, so there are old gate hinges still on the post. Hey, Mum thinks they may have been from an old barn before, and who knows where they were used before that. We're going to unscrew them and reuse them. but not without the help of Magnolia and Moth. And of course, the Welsh Harlequins.
<laughs> it's always slow working with these guys. In between any job, there are always paddock cuddles. First we are going to replace this gate because it's the dodgiest. But first, snuggles with Sailor. The ducks discovered that this old sign that blocked a hole in the gate also has a different purpose. Duck slide! Okay, now for some real work with absolutely no duck destructions. I probably should have pre-tilled this post before because it's hardwood, but I'm always too lazy so I end up doing it the hard way. Our grandfather put this post in for a passion fruit plantation. Years later, our dad added the tin to the top to protect it from the weather, but he added more room so that it could also act as a little hidey hole for animals. Once we found a family of rare insect bats hiding inside one of these poles. Yay, a gate that swings super easily. Oh my, after all that, Moth will always find a new way to escape. I guess that's tomorrow's job. And there she goes again, straight into the tomatoes. Now it's time to give some love to the naughty goats and take them down for a fresh pick of grass by the lake while we cool off in the water. <laughs> 